Coptic Pope Tawadros II was in Rome for a four-day visit. After several gatherings at the Vatican, he concluded his visit with a private meeting at the Congregation for Oriental Churches. There, he met with Argentinian Cardinal Leonardo Sandri and with other members of that congregation. Together, they prayed at the congregation's Byzantine-style chapel, and they also sung the Regina Celli to honor Our Lady. The Coptic Pope then reflected on this historical visit, especially since a visit of this kind had not taken place in 40 years. I am very happy to visit uh, the Holy Father, uh, Bob Francis, and uh, it is uh, very important uh, as it is considered as a meeting, historical meeting with the two big, big churches in Egypt, the Coptic Orthodox Church, and in uh, here, the Roman Catholic Church. In fact, this marks his first visit to the Vatican, and also his first official trip outside of Egypt since he was elected last November. The last time a Coptic Pope visited the Vatican was back on May 10, 1973, when Pope Paul VI met with his counterpart, Coptic Patriarch Shinauda III. And now, 40 years later, it's Pope Francis who welcomed Tawadros II. I found uh, the Holy Father a very decent man, filled of grace, filled of spirit, Holy Spirit, uh, filled with uh, joy and happiness. And this is effect uh, of my heart. To mark the visit, they all agreed that May 10th be recognized as a day of fraternity between Copts and Catholics. For now, though, the date is unofficial. It's a type of symbol to show that the meeting between Pope Francis and Tawadros II ended on a good note. We each other promise each other to pray for each one every day in our personal prayer. And so the meeting was described as much more than just a visit between both church leaders. Rather, it was described as a new chapter to strengthen the bonds of reconciliation and unity. And uh, the second.